Hello, Hi, Charlotte. Charlotte. Good morning. Lovely to see you. We're here to it's just It's lovely have a, to have you and yeah. welcome to the House of Haggard. <laughs> the House of Haggard yeah. and it's a beautiful day, which beautiful is going to be exceptional. Yeah. Uh, yeah. for showing off your beautiful art. Thank you. And uh, we're really excited to, we're going to just kind of go Take a tour around. Room. We're yeah. going to take a little tour around. Good. And uh, we may not ask you too many questions, <laughs> but uh, Charlotte, it's very nice to be with you today. And you've had a great deal to do with CSAG in the past. And this is like a, um, just a little gift that we can give you, but that you can give to the world. Today. Sounds good to me. Okay. Yeah. So I so think if we you can want just, to just, you can just. Um, I've been working mostly with plein air, which means you know painting out in the open, mm -hmm. and some sometimes working in a studio and then back and forth a bit. So this one was actually in Souk. It's a Souk Harbor House, and I just. It was springtime, and I what I liked is those black trunks with the blossoms mm. and the the shape of the soup house, which kind of rambles. So you really so. love to do the the florals and the the uh, natural kind of flow of our our beautiful uh, foliage um, and. I do like that. I, if I like uh, things, buildings falling down, and you know, I like yes. people as well. So I Ram do a lot of that. Yeah. But um, yeah, so this this is down in um, the uh, kind of Whitty's Beach, looking over Whitty's Beach. Mm. So again, just isolating the the trunks and the trees. And mm -hmm. this one is, of course, in the garden. It's kind of part of the hedgerow of the garden. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you started painting at a very early age in your life. It's been taken. Yeah, I started basically painting oil paints when I was eight. Yes. So um, I got my first set of oil paints then and an easel. Yes. Before that, I was using crayons. Yes. <laughs> I took a courses in, in the Vancouver Art Gallery. There were courses for children mm -hmm. in the basement. And it was lots of, it was very enjoyable, yes, right? Yes, yes. We had huge pots of paints and yes. abstract, young abstract painters that were doing enormous paintings. So they, they let us paint really large and I think that was a good experience for a child. And your parents were very supportive of you, weren't they? They were supportive of me, yes. doing art. Yes, yeah. doing art. And, and that's then, just uh, wonderful. From there I won a scholarship actually to go to art school in well, I went through high school, so yes. it's a bunch of friends. We did that, yes. and um, so I was always kind of in art school or doing stuff in art school. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So then I went to UBC, yes. University of British Columbia, took liberal arts, and and uh, I majored in art history. Yes. And then I went to what is now Emily Carr, but it was the Vancouver School of Art. Yes. So we uh, uh, did a lot of work, and I mostly did etching, etching. in that. Yes, at that Earth. time. Do you yeah. want to just maybe show us some of your ones down here in the hallway? Yeah, just uh, wander down there. Yeah, and, um, that'd be great. Maybe we can just chat while. Yeah. So again, that's kind of an open marshland. Uh, um, it's down in. Mitchell's farm actually, so it's kind of like these open fields and the colors, mm. the colors of the old weeds, lovely trees. Your colors are so beautiful. Thank you. Yes, they really are. You've captured the, the beautiful, um, you know, the textures of them, yeah. which is just so lovely. That's what I'm trying to get at, it's kind of a dramatic, um, what what you what hits you when you come into a place and mm -hmm. what is kind of dramatic this one's um frank's mitchell's farm mm -hmm. which is down in machosen looking over the ocean and i really like the old trough that the sheep are using yes and the fencing yes oh just beautiful lovely so when you, before you begin a painting, how, what are you feeling? Like, what are your senses of, 
you know, a big painting yeah, well, like well, this. Yeah, well, a big what? painting I'm approaching a bit differently. Than, mm -hmm. um, this was the painting with the white chair. I just love that white chair, the wicker. Yeah. Isn't it gorgeous? It, it just gradually disintegrated, so I can't paint that one anymore. No. <laughs> but, um, Very typically Victorian. It is, isn't it? Yes, um, a lot of families at that time yeah. had wicker. Yeah, and, and uh, it just uh, stood out mm -hmm. with its kind of beautiful shape. Yes. With the, with the big ones, I'm doing a series of these, actually. Well, you are. And this is just the kind of swampy land that's across the street. And I go oh. down and do a drawing and mm. bring it back and work on big big paintings. So. so while you're actually working on it, are your feelings quite different from the pre? Like when, you, when you're thinking about it, there must be a great deal of excitement. Yeah, and, I, think, I think there is. Yes. Um, I'm trying to focus on, on one thing or it's, a, it's almost like at the edge of consciousness. So yes. you're kind of, you're perceiving and then you're bringing back onto the canvas and then you're perceiving something else mm. and you're kind of going into a, a journey that's It's a journey already, personal, isn't it? Yes. But also something I think that's quite universal when you're, mm -hmm. when you're experiencing it and you're sending, it, these are kind of artifacts of yeah. the journey that you take. Right? Yes. And, and when you, you finish a painting like this, do you find it hard, if somebody really loves it, do you find it hard parting with it? No. Really, I'm yeah. really glad if somebody likes it. Yes, and um, maybe momentarily. Mm -hmm. And I would like to keep track of where they go. Yes, but sometimes you can't. Yes, you know you're exactly. selling them to strangers. Yes, and uh, so well, they, they go, but there's a lot more coming down the train yeah, track. Absolutely. Right? Well, I can tell. And why don't we meander into your kitchen? The kitchen. And yes. Maybe. Oh, yes. Just to get a couple of in here. They're just so special. And that one is like lilies in this um, St. Stephen's Church in Machos, and it's oh, yes. kind of what I liked is these dancing lilies, so I focused on those. It's beautiful. Oh, and this one has animals. Well, that one is Frank's farm again, and oh. I was painting the sheep. Yes. And the two donkeys. Um, they have two donkeys, and the donkeys came and obviously wanted to be part of the painting, so I painted them as well. Aww, that's <laughs> so neat. So, you know, I'm spending quite a few hours out in the, in the environment, out in the in nature. outdoors. Yes. Um, and then sometimes finishing them when I get home, but trying not to kill them off. That's the thing yes. with painting, right? You know, trying not to destroy it. There's uh, the second one that I'm doing of the woodland across the street. Oh, it's beautiful. Light is such an important part of, of art, isn't it? Yeah, yeah and, and I think that's one of the keys, looking at light and dark, like where the edges are. And it's very different than a photography type of yes. process because the camera sees so differently than, than your eye or your imagination and your emotion, I guess, yes. when you're looking at something.